Hello everyone, it's time for me to destroy Champion Leon and take the belt from him. So I'm going to be leading off with... Oh look, look at all my fans right now, I didn't know I had any. Challenger David, we've been waiting for you. Since you won your way to the semifinals, you must face off against the gym leaders in the finals. Wait, what? And they won't be holding back. Wait, 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 what? Whoever makes it through this final bracket will win the right to challenge the champion. So are you ready to go to the locker room now? <laughs> Wait, wait. So what was the whole point of the, the first thing? Was that just like the Challenger Cup or something? Alright, I mean, was that just like the Challengers themselves or something? Which is why it was only Marnie and then... I can't believe this. So we've got one, two, three. There's seven. There's somebody missing here. Oh, it's um the, the fairy gym leader. I'd say I'd aim to win this thing, and I'll do it without using Dynamax to help everyone in Spike Muth reclaim their pride, and to see him smile once again. Nessa, everyone's favorite gym leader, my favorite gym leader. Long time no see, this will be a different sort of battle than you face in the gym challenge. Those were basically test matches, but this, this is serious battle. Okay. Ryan, I'm going to win my way through every round, then I'll be able... I'll be the one to, to, to take on Leon. That's not what he said, but close enough. If I don't, then I'd I'd have failed to repay Duraladon and the rest of my team for all their hard work. Milo? My first match is against Ryan of all people. What rotten luck. But even if he changes the weather round, I don't plan on throwing in the towel so easy. I'll be bringing my matches to an end in a heartbeat. You see, no one sees them will ever forget me. No one who sees them. I'll always press on and challenge myself so that I can go on as a Pokemon trainer for as long as possible. As long as you continue to push yourself, your brilliance will never fade. It's a curious feeling, but my heart is racing a bit. I still can't wait for the match to begin. This is very interesting. So it sounds like the gym leaders themselves, they were kind of just messing around when we battled them. Which I guess makes sense. That They're there to see if they're... If the challenger is competent enough to show up here. It's the opening ceremony for the finals. When you're ready, please head for the pitch. Yep, so my team is going to go like this. So I'm starting off with Santa Claus. He has a focus sash in case, I don't know, I fight some gym leader who uh, makes Santa Claus feel bad. So I can for sure live and then go for stealth rocks and maybe burn something. And then I can switch into pretty much anyone else. It'll probably be Pan. It might even be Maito as well just because my Maito actually knows Nasty Plot. So I can just literally just nasty plot, dark pulse, draining kiss, everything. And it's interesting seeing them uh, back here like this. Oh, I didn't even know I could sit down like that. Can I sit down next to Ryan? No, he, he's too cool for school. Okay. Let's get this show underway. Will you be heading on to the pitch? The opening ceremony should be starting soon. Yep. I can't believe we're fighting the gym leaders again. So th this makes sense. This is the final eight bracket. And there's one gym leader missing, which is uh, the fairy type. So I guess I'm filling in for her. So this is a top eight bracket. And I guess only one person's allowed to make it in here from the gym challenger thingy. It probably goes without saying, but hello, Galler. I'm your champion, Leon. The chairman is tied up with some business, so I hope no one minds me talking. In order to lead you all to greater heights as Pokemon trainers of the Galler region. The time has come for you to battle it out until only the greatest challenger remains. On behalf of the chairman, allow me to say let the finals matches begin i like how we're all just standing out there dude leon was talking pretty fast wait you oh my god man who's that that's a great question audience a moment if i may does anyone here even remember me oh man i am b day the challenger was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge B-Day. He's the challenger endorsed by Chairman Rose himself. I have a score to settle with Challenger David here. I'm aware that this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless. Let me battle him. I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. What an unexpected turn of events. Former challenger B-Day has come for one last battle. We are currently debating what to do with challenger B-Day. To all our viewers, both here in the stadium and, and at home in front of the telly, we ask that you please be patient. I know this is ridiculous of me, but I had to say something and do something. Ever since you showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was Oleana who asked me to gather wishing stars for the chairman, 
but then the chairman himself disowned me. And then that strange old lady comes out of nowhere and drags me into a boot camp on fairy type Pokemon. Do you have any idea what I've been through covered in pink dealing with quizzes and battles with fairy type Pokemon every day? And here I am pouring my heart out to you when I've never lost my cool before. We've reached a decision ladies and gentlemen. The champion himself has accepted B-Day's sudden interruption. Is the challenge... Is the champion showing his love by giving every trainer a chance to grow stronger? Or is it a trial for Challenger David? I think it's a trial. My will hasn't been broken yet. This is ridiculous. I thought this guy was done for. I was thinking it was too quiet without B-Day. Wait, what? Is he is he a fairy type person now? He only has four Pokemon. Why does he only have five Pokemon slots? Has anyone else noticed that? Okay, well, I guess it doesn't really matter because B-Day is about to meet a very, very swift demise. We face too much to quit now. We've got no choice but to win. Intimidate. Oh, boy. All right, how about this? How about first I burn you? Yes, that's a good idea. So you can't do any damage. Iron Head? Oh, that's going to do nothing. Wow, that was without the burn. I missed. Now I'm sad. I also lost my Focus Sash. So if this Mawile knows Earthquake... I'm just kidding. Mawile can't learn Earthquake as far as I know. Okay, that time I got flinched. Keep in mind, people, I actually have Flame Body on my uh, my Santa Claus. And there it is, finally. I probably should have went for Stealth Rocks if, if I knew that this, that this was going to be happening. Well, B-Day's first Pokemon is actually level 51. Let me go ahead and set up these Stealth Rocks for you, buddy. Old friend of mine. Iron Head, yeah, that's going to do nothing. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually just going to stay in, and I'm actually going to use Heat Crash, and then switch when I, when I inevitably destroy this Mawile into a million pieces. I don't even care that my attack has been lowered. There's no way, right? Even a crit will do nothing. Oh, that's right, you're burned. <laughs> I forgot. Here, take one of these. Oh, B-Day. Even with my attack lowered... And me still not knowing how to say your name. You still got absolutely annihilated. And there's still three more to go. Gardevoir? Um, who do I got? Wait a second. I have a Steel-type Pokemon. I never thought I would actually be using a Steel-type practically. But it looks like B-Day went from using Psychic-types to Fairy-types. Because of that one gym leader. Interesting. He really just staked everything on this battle. B-Day, have you learned nothing your whole entire life? Oh, and, and those stealth rocks hit him too. I'm just going to go for home claws just so I can have... Um, I want to believe perfect accuracy. I don't think I've ever missed a steel wing. I still haven't learned all game if I'm actually at 100 accuracy or not. Okay, calm mind. That's kind of a... Uh, that's a little scary, but that's okay. You know why? Because if this steel wing connects... <laughs> oh my god, man. And there it is. Boom. The Steel-type super effective moves are coming through. Who would have guessed? Not me. Okay, so maybe this is supposed to be the quote-unquote Elite Four Rapidash. Oh my god, that's a unicorn. Okay, well, that has to be part fairy now. I remember battling B-Day a while ago, and he had a Ponyta that was Psychic-type. That thing has to be part fairy now. Yeah, and there it is. Did you hear that? Super effective. Boom. Oh, I, I finally got a defense boost. I think that's the first defense boost I've gotten all entire playthrough after using Steel Wing a million times. Never use Steel Wing, guys. Hatterene? Isn't that the thing with the hat? What's that calm expression? Think you're going to win? I mean, um... A B-Day. I, I know you're quite delusional and arrogant all the time, but it's not exactly looking good for you, buddy. Anticipation. Yeah, you, you should shudder. Because, uh, I'm... You've seen me use two of these already. Wait! Oh, that's right! He's going to Gigantamax, not to be confused with Dynamax, so this thing, this thing's going to look interesting. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, it looks uh, almost exactly the same. It, it's just, whoa, whoa, that was kind of loud. Okay, uh, it's just taller. I, I do think I'm still going to one-shot it with a Steel Wing, and I, I bet you I'm going to go first. I do, and uh, that was really anticlimactic. But, uh, I'm, I suppose that fits for B-Day. He's very good at- Oh my god, that was so loud. B-Day was never quite good when it came to the dramas and the arts and whatnot. Yeah, he even showed up in the very, very end to try and challenge me. 
Oh my god, I could have win, but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are. So we went from psychic to fairy. Interesting. Well, I lost. It looks like Challenger B-Day was no match for Challenger David and his trusted team. Hey, B-Day, that was some match. Well, okay, well, it doesn't matter because he's going to retire. Don't retire, just restart your career. Wait, no, 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 don't encourage him. But this isn't what I planned. If I was able to defeat you, then everything would be fine. Even if I lost, I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. So you lied! You just keep messing up my plans with everyone cheering me on like this. I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy type gym leader. Oh, man. Th though I suppose with my talents, I'll be able to overtake Miss Opal in no time. Oh my, no wonder he showed up. He's basically, he is a gym leader now. Oh my god. That was disgusting. Rather surprising for Challenger B-Day to barge in like that. In any case, once you're ready, please head on to the pitch. The finals are about to begin. Oh, the gym leaders are gone. Well, now I'm all alone. Uh, are my Pokemon fully healed? Okay, so... I guess now it's actually the Elite Four. I don't know if they're going to count B-Day or not. But, um... I was wondering how that would go. Because it's always like Elite Four champion in every single game. Even in Alola. And Alola didn't even have gym leaders. The time for waiting is over. The finals of the Champion Cup are about to begin. The two trainers to face each other in the first battle of the first round are... Me. And who's it? <gasps> oh, <laughs> Not again. Please. Oh, no. I can tell you've grown far stronger since you faced me in a whole Barry Stadium. I've got to hand it to our undefeated champion. He's got a proper eye for talent, too. But you're not the champion, and you'll never become the champion either. Wow. Do you know why? It's because I, Nessa, am going to defeat both you and Leon. I'm not going to underestimate you again. I'll use Diamax to wash you out to the sea and beyond the horizon. Wow, it's my favorite gym leader making a reappearance. What are the odds that... Also, I'm starting with a Pokemon that's four times weak to water. Oh, it's a different theme now. Interesting. She has five Pokemon. What is a Golossipod? You're telling me that's a water-type Pokemon? Are you sure? I guess so. I thought that was like a bug ice-type. Sonya might be disappointed, but I'm going to wash your team away. Um... I don't know about all that, Nessa, because um, I'm prepared for you and your Dreadnought. Also, I have Stealth Rocks. And you know what's funny? Oh, Liquidation. Oh, I'm so scared. If only I had a Focus Sash. Oh, wait. I didn't even need it. Look at that. Wow. And here I was scared for nothing. So I, 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 I still don't believe that that's actually a... I can't even tell because I've never seen one of those. I don't think that's a water type. Like, I don't want to be that guy. It's just that after I fought R Raihan and he had two Pokemon that weren't even dragons, you know, I'm throwing some doubt towards these gym leaders. This is like Pokemon Stadium. Like, I mean the video game Pokemon Stadium where the gym leaders are literally showing up with Pokemon that aren't even their respective types. Liquidation? Let's see how much that does. Oh, that actually did a decent amount. Oh, that's right. Colossal Santa Claus has like a million defense. I better play it on the safe side with Nessa so that... Uh, what happened in our first battle doesn't happen again. Like, she was saying that she underestimated me. I don't think that was true at all. I mean, she kind of actually caused me the most damage in the entire uh, playthrough. She she literally unalived three of my Pokemon in that battle. Oh, man. That was that, that was a crazy battle. Okay, so there's no way she resists Drill Peck, right? Let's see it. Is that thing actually a bug water type? Are you kidding me? It looks like an ice type, though. I mean, it was super effective. Maybe it is bug water. Well, Nessa, uh, you, you saw me battle B-Day already, so you already know what's coming out next. Barrascuta. I think she had one of these herself in the first battle. Oh, that's right. Stealth Rocks are coming through. Not that she would have a Focus Sash or anything, but this is to extra solidify that nobody lives. Okay, that thing is faster than me. I was not expecting that. Liquidation? What, how much is that going to do? Not enough. And she didn't even lower my defense. Goodbye, Barrascuta. I guess I'm just happy to be here battling Nessa. Wait, wait, burn up. What does that do? Holy smokes! 
To inflict massive damage, the user burns itself out. After using this move, the user will no longer be fire type. What the heck? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That sounds pretty cool, actually. I think I want that. Um, Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. I'm trading that out. I've never heard of this move in my life. Why does nobody ever use this move competitively? That's base 130 power, and then I lose my quad weakness to uh, to water and ground. That sounds like a good move to me. Seeking. Oh, she did have a Goldeen when we first battled. So that means that... Um, wait, Bear Scuda... Golossipod. Alright, she's... Oh, she's gonna have Dreadnought, the Destroyer of Worlds. But that's okay, because I have Steel Wing, and that thing's part rock. How do I know that? Because I actually have one myself this time around. Oh, if you noticed, uh, three of my Pokemon are Pokemon that were used by gym leaders. Pelipper. Oh, she's gonna set up the rain. Wait, actually, this might be slightly scary, because, um... We already know what her last Pokemon's gonna be. Dude, that Pelipper got destroyed by those rocks. Um... I mean, stab water from a Dreadnought. I, I think I should be able to live that, so... I guess I'll just stay in confidently and put that thing in the ground. Wouldn't it have made more sense for her to start with the Pelipper? Whatever, I'm not a gym leader. I wouldn't understand. Dude, my Nesso, named after Nessa right here, is level 66. I almost kind of want a meme on her. Actually, do, do I want to be immature? Yeah, yeah, I am going to be immature. I'm going to use my own Nesso against her Dreadnought. Return. See, I don't have to do this, but I, I just want to send a message that I learned I learned this from her, okay? She started this. Looks like I'm down to one last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last. There it is, the Dreadnought. What level is this thing? 53. Oh, hers is a female. Mine is a male. So, oh yeah, she got hit by Stealth Rock. She's going to Dynamax, but it's not going to matter. I'm just going to go for Liquidation. Flood the stadium and make it our ocean. Dreadnought, time to gi Gigantamax. Wait, it's, that's not Gigantamax, and he looks exactly the same. That's a Dynamax. Right? Doesn't he look the same? Wait a second! He did not look like that the first time. Or she, my bad. She did not... Why does it look different now? What? When I battled her, it was just Dreadnought, but bigger. It literally just looked like my Dreadnought. Max Darkness, that's going to do nothing. Why didn't you go for a water move? It's raining. And it's Stab. What's I going to do? Spadef? Oh my god. Nessa, what are you doing? Well, I did learn from the best. Look at that. I, I didn't even need a Dynamax or nothing. That's so crazy to me. Why did that happen? That's actually pretty interesting. I guess we'll never know. Unless somebody comments down below. Yeah, see, I learned this all from her. Look at her. She's all flustered right now. You have no problem handling our surging might. It's no wonder that you won. I got money. Cool. And the winner is me. He defeated Nessa during the gym challenge and now has pulled it off again. Man, Nessa, I didn't know you had such strong level 50 Pokemon. You and your Pokemon are just too much. Even with my Dynamax partner, you weathered our waves and stood firm actually it was gigantamax now that i think about it, sonia was saying something about how amazing you were i wish i'd paid more attention to what she was talking about i bet everyone in gallery's got their eyes on you now you defeated my team so now you've got to ride that current all the way to the end now don't go anywhere ladies and gentlemen the second battle of the first round will begin shortly all right so it looks like yeah nessa was my first opponent and then b Bay defeated Gordy. I guess that makes sense. And then Piers... Piers beat Kabu. Okay. And then Raihan defeated Milo. Um... Huh, it's interesting how this was seated. Okay, so that means my next opponent is, uh... Bay. I still don't know how to say her name either. I don't know. Something about these B names. Oh, I don't even care that I'm going to get hit by a fighting type move. Because once again, I've got a focus sash. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the stealth rocks, which may or may not be the best idea ever. But I don't care. That's what I must do. So yeah, this basically is the Elite Four. I mean, I got to beat up B-Day. I got to beat up uh, Nessa. And then uh, Bay right now. And then... Um, 
Probably Rihon. It's either going to be Rihon or Piers. Probably going to be Rihon. That guy's kind of strong. This year's top challenger made quick work of him before washing away gym leader Nessa. On the other side, we have the Galar Karari Prodigy. Let's hear it for gym leader Bay. How do you say your name? I got to go look that up after this. I promise you my attacks will shake your soul this time. May the best trainer win. She didn't say much the first time we battled either. Interesting. He's a girl of very few words. I'm, I'm guessing you're going to have five Pokemon as well. Probably the same exact levels of um, Nessa. I actually like this gym leader too. That kind of makes sense. The gym leader should be like the strongest leaders in the, the whole entire region. You might have one win on me, but this is where I'll show you what I can really do when I'm serious. Alright, we'll see about that. Let me just go ahead and set up the Stealth Rock sooner than later. High Jump Kick. I bet you that's going to do nothing. Okay, it looks like that's actually going to be a 2-hit KO. So I'm going to uh, not stay in. And I'm going to run for my life right now. And that's why we have a Focus Sash. You never know what, what kind of problems we may run. Wait a second, wait a second. Maito, though. Wait, 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 wait. What are my stats with this guy? I'm up against probably physical attack. So I'm at 106 versus my uh, pan who's... Okay, okay, never mind. We're, we're going into pan. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking maybe Maito because they're all fighting types. So I can just, you know, destroy everything. And heal up to be safe. But uh, my defense is quite literally almost double with pan. And I'm probably... Yep, there is a high jump kick. That shouldn't do too much. Yeah, see, if that was my I would have taken a lot more damage. That would have been almost like a 2-hit KO. Maybe even a 2-hit KO. But let's go ahead and do one of these real quick, and then I should be able to breeze right through her team. No problemo. Especially since they're all fighting types. I jump kick, that's going to do nothing. What if she missed, though? That would be really funny. Yeah, this is a really strong move, man. The gym leaders are not messing around this time. Isn't high jump kick like base 130 power? That's crazy. Well, down goes the Halucha. Man. And on top of that, you got Stealth Rocks to deal with too? Yikes. I feel bad for you. <clears throat> Let's eat up those leftovers. Yum, 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 yum. I'm about to be level 72 after this battle. Phalanx? Oh, that's the one thing. This is such a great Pokemon. <laughs> I feel like I've said this multiple times, but this is one of my favorite Gen 8 Pokemon. It's such a cool, yet silly idea. It's a Phalanx. Phalanx Shield. Get it? It's And it's called Phalanx. I, I don't know. I thought it was pretty clever. Okay, who's next? Oh, I remember she had a Machamp. And then probably something else. She's going to Gigantamax the Machamp. Oh, Grap Locked. She definitely didn't have that the first time. I would have remembered this Octopus thing. Guys, the the grap locked. There, there's a grap locked in the wild area where I trained for a little bit. Those things were like level 58. Hers is 52. That's man. Like Ryan gave us some great advice when he told us to go train in that area after we defeated him. That was the best advice we got all game. And here we are, level 72. My defense is only getting higher. Surfetched. Oh, I think she had this the first time too. Does Farfetched evolve into Surfetched, or is this a different? Is this just a different form? Because I'm guessing this is kind of like the whole Galarian Meowth thing and how it evolves into Perserker. Which always throws me off because in Alola, it was like Alolan Meowth evolves in Alolan Persian. But, you know, just like Farfetch'd and Galarian Meowth, they literally evolve into a different Pokemon. Is she down to already her last Pokemon? Man, B-Day. Yeah, B-Day, right. <laughs> Bay has been having a tough time lately. It's time to dig in our heels. I'm not giving up. Um, I recommend that you should give up. Level 54. Okay, her Pokemon is... Uh, the Pokemon are, in fact, getting stronger around here. Arg, fine then. Let's just destroy everything. Okay, that's a great plan. You know what I was thinking? You think in Pokemon Shield, it's like, it's like you fight Milo and then uh, the other guys. You know what I'm talking about? And then it, it's just alternating because we're playing Pokemon Sword. That was really loud. Yeah, your Machamp's literally about to get absolutely decimated right now. So how come the Machamp looked like this the first time I battled, but Nessa's Dreadnought looked completely different? 
Nessa's Dreadnought looked like like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. This time around, at least. Before, it just looked normal. Well, Bay, what do you have to say? Your strength nearly made me want to turn and run on my bare feet. I do like how the gym leaders are actually really strong, though. I don't like how in previous regions they're just like pushovers. But they were just kind of clowning on us the whole entire time. This is their real power. I'm upset that I lost, but I feel so satisfied and refreshed. In a way, I guess you could say it was the best sort of match anyone could ever hope for. I hope that you meet many more trainers and many more matches in the future, and I hope that every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. Okay. Oh, yeah, we are battling Raihan. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> well, I mean, there's no way it's a double battle again, right? That wouldn't make any sense. Sis, you shouldn't be forcing your way in here. Marnie, you're here. Sorry, David. I thought my bro could get revenge for me, but he lost to Raihan. You look so sloppy out there that people are going to think we're both weak because we're related. Wow. You got it wrong, sis. Raihan's just that strong. But I was able to show everyone in the audience how amazing a proper battle without using Dynamax can be. All right. I get it. But that's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. I'm counting on you to win, David. Got that? I'll be cheering for you. Sorry to come in for a chin wag just before the final match. Raihan's waiting for you on the pitch. I wonder how that works in Pokemon Shield. I wonder if the final guy you have to battle is also Raihan. Huh. That's really useless information, but I think I'm going to look that up after this just because I'm curious. So, same plan as always. So, now the question is, what is Raihan going to do? Because the first time it was straight up a double battle, he had a Pokemon that wasn't even a rock type. I mean, it wasn't even a dragon type, it was a rock type. And he set up Stealth Rocks. Well, this time, I'm going to do that. Wait, no, I think I set up Stealth Rocks last time, too. Alright, who's going to win? David or will it be the only trainer that Champion Leon calls his rival? The Tamer of Dragons, Raihan. Oh man, Raihan's going to be a lot stronger. You realize something else, kid. You've made it all the way here. I guess that's why the champion himself endorsed you, yeah? Leon's my rival and he chose you, so I've got to prove I'm better than you if I'm to beat him. I've reworked my whole team and now we're all geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. And there it is, people. You might be thinking that you beat me once already, but if you think I'm the same right on you face during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. Maybe they just have different teams. They have, like, the challenger team and then they have the I'm serious team. So this is right on serious team. Honestly, I think I like the regular... Wait, wait, what the heck? Torkoal? Raihan! What is going on with you today? Oh my god! He's bringing sun! Last time it was sand! And once again, it's a Pokemon that's not even a dragon. That's drought. He gets the sunlight burning real harsh. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Okay, well... I guess I'm cool with that. I mean, what I, I quad resist fire, so what is this Torkoal going to do to me? Well, let's see. What are you going to do? Solar... Oh! So that's what you're going to do. Um... I mean, certainly that shouldn't do too much damage, right? That's not stab, and Torkoal's not that strong. That did absolutely nothing, Ryan. It looks like you're going to be in some trouble, mate. Um... No, wait, no, let's not use Burn Up. I was thinking maybe I could get rid of that, my fire typing, but that's helping me quad resist these solar beams and fire Dude, I just one-shot that Torkoal. Oh, it was a crit. <laughs> I have a feeling that crit did, in fact, matter because uh, Torkoal's got pretty decent defense. Um, Flygon. Ah, yes, that's right. Well, I mean, a Flygon, it's... There's no way... You know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go into Mahito. This was my initial plan. I'm afraid that Flygon might know Fire Punch. Because last time it knew Thunder Punch. So, I don't know. I don't want it to Fire Punch my Corviknight and then I'm in trouble. But yes, the only one that's going to be in trouble is Raihan's a Dragon-type team. Well, oh yeah, that's right. I have Stealth Rocks. Perfect. So, let's go for my initial plan. This is what we were going to do the first time we battled Raihan, but it didn't work out. Which is funny, because I caught uh, Maito the episode right before. Sandstorm! Oh, you think you're funny. 
Well, I hate to be the bear of bad news, but it's not going to matter. So, Rylan's team is very questionable. I'll let the winds blow. Stream forward, Sandstorm. Um, Rylan, you kind of just wasted a turn doing that. Why didn't you just have Pokemon that were good? <gasps> Earthquake! Okay, how much is that going to do? Oh, that didn't do too much. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm level 64, so... Dude, that Flygon got destroyed, and I got all my nice, delicious, juicy health back. Beautiful. Down goes the Flygon. Man, I, I think uh, the, the, the Nuzlocke itself is not strong enough. You gotta play uh, on with more rules and stuff, because uh, if you just over-level your Pokemon, like I inadvertently did, I mean, you can still just go around thrashing everyone. Yeah, so... Oh, that's right! You're, you're part fire! Ha ha ha! Oh, uh, let's go for a draining kiss. Oh, I'm faster too. You're not gonna live this, man. There's no way. Even if it's neutral, yeah. I bet that Pokemon has a lot of defense too, just because it's a turtle. But it doesn't matter. Oh, wait, that would... Ryan, why don't you just go into that next? That's a fire type. You had the sun up, but then he just sent up the sand. What is he doing? Gudra, okay. Now, Gudra has a lot of special defense, though. That's the thing. Oh, that's right. Stealth Rocks. And, of course, Raihan set up a Sandstorm against himself. So, do you think he's going to live this? He has a lot of special defense, guys. Down goes the Gudra. Oh, my God. I'm just going on an absolute rampage. Wow. Man, leveling really is everything in these, uh, these Pokemon Let's Plays. Duraludon? Yeah, I'm staying in. I don't care. You do realize I'm the great Ryan, right? I'll be the one to beat Leon. Oh, that's right. He's going to Gigantamax. Okay, that thing's level 55 this time around. Um, He got rocks in him. <clears throat> um, Yeah, let's just go for a draining case. Wait, wait, wait. I just realized something. Um, That thing is a steel type. So isn't he just going to like... Okay, he just took a selfie. Um, isn't he just going to go for a steel move on me right now? Um, am I in trouble? I didn't actually think about that before I clicked uh, the move. I could have just went out in a Corviknight. Um, Max, yep, that's a steel move. Uh, please don't... Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! And the sand, the sand! Is what I would say if I didn't heal up from this. Okay, we gotta switch. We gotta get out of here, man. That thing... That thing... Wait, the sand... Wait, no, it doesn't matter. That thing's still gonna one-shot me. I gotta get out of here. Goodbye. I don't need to take this disrespect. He just raised his defense, yeah? So... Uh, who is the answer for this Pokemon? Um, Maybe Frank, actually. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go into Frank. Frank can eat it up. That's gonna do nothing to Frank. This is exactly how I beat Nessa the first time. I had Frank on my side. Frank has an Eviolite. I, I haven't really used Frank too much. He's kind of just... No way. He just used a full restore. I cannot make this up. Are you kidding me right now? Um. Alright, well... I, I'm gonna whittle that thing away very slowly, but I can do it. The Dragon's War Roars. G-Max Depletion. Was this your dragon move? Yeah, it is. I, that's gonna do nothing to Frank. What did I just say? That that did... Okay, that, that did around a quarter, but still. Um, that's basically nothing. Okay, that bulldoze also did nothing. But uh, I did lower your speed, and now you are small and normal once again. So now you can't do a tremendous, crazy amount of damage to me. Dragon Claw... That, that's, that's not going to be enough. Th yeah, that's doing nothing to Frank, man. Yep. And it's, it's only going to get worse for you, because your speed's getting lower... And guess what? I actually know Slack Off if I need it. Okay, that Duraldon is still faster. That just goes to show how slow Frank is. Okay, let's go for another Bulldoze. I can't believe Maito actually almost died back there. Now, I'm just going to prove to you right now, Ryan, that I don't even need medicine. I can just click Slack Off and then call it a day. Wait, Iron Head. Should I be troubled? Okay. Uh, okay, I got flinched. Um, that, That's okay. That's fine. I'll just go out in a Sandy. Come back, Frank. And then I'll just use Dig, and then I'll take this thing out. That's actually how I defeated Ryan the first time. 
Same thing, I use Dig. Dragon Claw, that's gonna do nothing. Okay, Duraludon is stronger than I thought, but, uh... Once again, you're, I mean, I got nine levels on that thing. What can I say? Absolutely no way he's living that. I can't believe he had a full restore. I mentioned that during the gym leader challenge, too. Like, what if the gym leaders had items? They've had items in the past. Oh, well, down goes the Duraludon. What is Duraludon supposed to be? Is that even a pseudo-legendary? I don't think it is, right? Isn't it supposed to be, like, <clears throat> a Dragapult this game? Which I haven't seen a, a Dragapult the whole entire game. Losing in the finals is pretty rough, but I suppose I'd better take a quick shot to remember it by. Why is, well, why is Raihan like this? Why? I just want to know why. Challenger David sees his victory. Yep, so that would be four people I just beat down. My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before. But you just blew right past us beyond anything I'd imagine. So he actually got stronger. I'm still pretty young myself, but it just goes to show that there's always someone younger... Coming up, reaching further further than you ever dreamed. Ain't that the truth? And you've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum. Prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number four, Challenger David has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed him. That's the result. Wow, I bet you Leon is uh, shaking a little bit. He didn't think that I'd get this far, I bet. I didn't think I'd get this far. Oh, look, it's Rillaboom. All right, the big moment's finally here, huh? I came just to cheer on, cheer you on, you know. It's not easy picking sides. After all, it's the showdown between my big brother and my rival. Who should I really want to win more? Rillaboom said Rillaboom. I'm not sure what that means. He probably doesn't want me to win. Right, you reckon I should cheer for... Oh, he wants David. Okay, that's me. I'm David. Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together way back in Postwick. So you better beat Lee, huh? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mates. Man, looking at that real boom makes me sad, because I remember my starter Pokemon. My starter Pokemon, I loved it too, and uh, look what happened to it. It got unalived. Is anyone else back here? No, but it's just me. Are my Pokemon fully healed? Of course they are. They've, they've gotten fully healed every single time. Okay, you know what's really funny, guys? Leon literally has a Charizard. Charizard is four times weak to Stealth Rock. So when that thing comes in, it's actually going to lose half of its health, which is kind of funny. Um, There's no turning back now. I, I just wanted to see if that was even an option. I haven't tried doing that whole entire playthrough, so I was just curious. That's actually good that there's no turning back now. Well, here it is. It's Leon. He's not even looking at me. Oh, now he's looking at me. I am worth his time now. Okay, the tents still air on the pitch in the exact opposite from the audience cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose. Yeah, that's true. It can fill you with fear knowing that, but I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in, feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Gala Regents champion, Leon. Me and Charizard, who's going to get beat up by Stealth Rocks and all the rest of our team, we will use our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Alright, we'll see how much that, that knowledge and experience helps you when you see those Stealth Rocks. Wait, hold on! Hey, look at the monitor. What is that on the big... Wait, is something bad happening? Did something stupid really just happen? Hello there, Leon and David. Just letting you know. Is something bad happening? I think it's time I brought about the darkest day. What? What? But I'm in a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is way too much for us to contain. What have you done? Everything I worked so hard for. I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. What is this maniac talking about, man? What? I, I can't believe this. Leon is angry, and so am I. Lee, David. Oh my god, dude. That video stream, that was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? 
What in the world did the chairman do? He just ruined our battle. I don't know, but everything he was saying yesterday... Did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to go see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. Are you kidding me, dude? That was so anticlimactic, just like the last time, too. Oh, man. This is so silly. Well, what am I going to do? Why don't I just go help? I'm like the second strongest trainer right now. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's the thing where the sky went all dark once ages. Like, why did he have to do it today? Why couldn't he have waited tomorrow? Back in Matostaki. The statue of the hero in Matostaki. Sonia said something back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the darkest day with the sword and shield Pokemon. Sonia thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere though, right? We should try to find them, but where to start looking? In the... Oh, right, yep. Yeah. Why was Sir Chester even an option? We literally saw the Pokemon there. The slumbering wield. Are you kidding me? We have to go back there. But the champion battle, no. What is happening? What is the chairman doing? I, I had a feeling you did something stupid in this game, but this is just preposterous. You just ruined everything, man. And for what? You couldn't have just done this tomorrow? Oh, huh, David and Hop. Oh, I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? Uh, the chairman. He ruined it. Haven't you been watching the news at all? The chairman is off, Sony. The chairman saw to that. And to sending the entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering wield? Well, for stars, there's a great black storm or something raging over Hammerlock Stadium. What are they calling it? The darkest day? Wait, Sony, you know all about this. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold on a tick. Did you say the darkest day? She did. The Darkest Day is the name for the Black Storm that nearly brought the Gala region to ruin in ancient times. Why is he doing this? I'm here to stop it, yep. To stop the Darkest Day. You mean you're going to search for the Sword and Shield Pokemon? Okay, here, take this. You should head in there. I'll catch up with you once I'm done looking into something that's been bothering me. I got three max revives. Completely useless. Wow, this is... I can't believe the chairman really just did that. At the very last second, the, the suspense was building and he just pulled that move on us. Ready for this, David? I wonder if we're about to head straight into a wall of fog again. Not that it bothers us now. We've grown a lot stronger and so have our Pokemon. Going into the forest after Wooloo that day, that was the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and add another page to our tale. Well, that that that's that's such a huge bummer. Yep, I, I can't believe the chairman really just did that. So I'm gonna call it for this episode, and then the next episode I'm gonna go hunt down this Pokemon that may or may not still be here, and then I don't know what's gonna happen after that. I thought we were gonna battle Leon. I guess not. I was fooled. Maybe I'll go have to go. Um, I have to go take down the chairman for all this shenanigans. So we'll see you. In the next episode. Goodbye.